welcome back to Bow Disciples, guys. Uh, today's video, I'm going to be out setting some trail cams and giving you guys some tips on where I like to set them up and kind of how I like to approach hunting in D16 or A22. I really enjoy hunting in San Diego County. I always have. I, I have a big passion about our local deer here and I'm super excited for another season coming up. So usually I like to set my cameras out right in the beginning of August and today I think is like August 7th or something. So it's time baby, time to see what we got. And I really won't actually have a chance to hunt till like early October, um, but that's fine. Still get cameras out now, still learn now. And that way when I get back, I'll have a lot of footage or you know, photos to sift through and kind of have a plan of attack um, right when I get home from Utah. So that's what's going on. See you guys in the next clip. Oh boy, it's that time of year, baby. Basically, what I'm doing right now is walking around um, through some areas where I, uh, I know the deer kind of traverse through this set of trees that I'm in. So, basically, what I'm doing is I got my camera. And I'm walking through just trying to find like whatever trails the most heavily used and I will put my camera on that. Um, there's a lot more growth this year than last year so shorts were not the best idea but that's okay and honestly I'm not really seeing any really hammered trails um, so I think what I might do is kind of walk to one of my other spots and see if maybe that area has a little more noticeable activity I mean the truth is you can set your camera anywhere and you know probably see something but for me I try to um, set it in the largest funnel that I can, and that way I get a really good broad view of what all was in the area. So that's what's going on. I'm gonna keep looking, and we'll get her set up. Yeah, shorts and running shoes were not the best idea. <laughs> so I ended up finding a pretty nice game trail that comes right through here. So I hung my camera right here and we'll come back in uh, in a little while to check on it all right i got um, four cameras set and it's unbelievable how thick it is out here compared to normal um but yeah got four cameras hung sweating like crazy it's like i think it's like almost 100 degrees today so it's pretty hot but probably leave these cameras up for about a week Come check them, see what we got, and uh, after that I'll either leave them in the same spot or retrieve them and move them somewhere else. And then before we head to Utah, I'll pull probably two down, probably leave two up, bring those ones with us. So I have at least a handful um, to bring to Utah with us for, for the over-the-counter elk hunt. So that's what's going on. All done for cameras for the day, heading home. Anyways, thank you guys for watching today's video. I realize it wasn't necessarily the best or like most informative video, but I uh, just thought I would put something out for you guys. Um, you know, it is August 7th, I'm putting out cameras. A lot of people ask me when I put them out. Um, locally, I always like to put them out in the beginning of August, and then uh, usually, you know, November is always my best month in D16, but uh, sometimes in October, uh, I, I end up getting the job done. So, a couple things to wrap up this video. Be sure to try to put your cameras on a place where there's a lot of deer, obviously. So whether that be trails or where deer cross a fence often or a water hole or possibly even a bedding area, anything that there's a high concentration of deer is gonna be your best spot um, to set cameras. Now, if you're only seeing does, um, that's not a reason to necessarily panic and move your cameras. That just means once a rut rolls around, um, your spot's probably going to have a lot of bucks cruising in and through. Um, if you hunt on public land or areas with a lot of other hunters, 
definitely be sure to secure your cameras, lock them to trees, have little lock boxes. If you hunt private and there's not really any other hunters, then you probably don't really need to worry about that all that much. Um, so anyways, just a couple quick tips on cameras and where to set them and, and things like that. I hope this video was at least a little bit helpful. Uh, if you guys wouldn't mind, please hit the subscribe button. Please drop a comment. Let me know um, what you guys want to see as far as information goes or whatever. Uh, as far as archery shoots, the season opener 2 is coming up this weekend on Sunday at Balboa Park. I do plan to be there. Um, and I believe I'm shooting with the man himself, Bowshot Bruce. So go ahead and drop in the comments who do you think is going to end up with the top score uh, against me and Bruce. So let me know. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Hope to see some of you guys there. If you are going to the season opener too and you happen to see me, you watch these videos, come say what's up. I'd like to meet you guys. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.